Hey guys, today we are here with Tom from Cyclops, all the way from the UK, and we are checking out these awesome new Smart Tune load sensing turnbuckles that you can install on your rig and effectively know at a glance how much load is on a given shroud. And it can be calibrated to give you warnings if it's getting close to an overload, and it'll all show up on your chart plotter, right, Tom? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That. So, in particular, this is exciting whether you are new to sailing or have been sailing for your whole life. In that, if you're newer, it can give you really important warning systems, and if you've been sailing for a very long time, you can really dial in where the loads are on your rig and where you're hitting that sweet spot and where maybe you're pushing it a little too far. So, yeah, I mean, you guys have been doing research into this for a, a very long time now. And so also, besides being on a, showing up on a chart plotter, you can view this data right on your phone, right? I mean, we were doing that a second yeah, ago. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we have an app, it's called um, Smart Fittings Manager, and, and here we can see, you know, live data information. You know, yeah. we've got just over 1,600 pounds, and you can see those, you can see those numbers moving instantaneously, you know, off the shelf and delivered and installed, you, you get a reading every second. Yeah. And, and a reading every second is plenty, yeah. you know, yeah. for, for most for, instances. Yeah. Uh, when we are working with mass manufacturers or boat builders, and we want to see what's happening in those split second moments through a jibe, through a tack, yeah. you know, through big gusty conditions, we can dial it up to five hertz or 10 hertz, and then we can, you know, we see those, those peaks coming through. Um, conversely, we, we can dial it back. You know, if you're right. doing a really long passion sure, sail, sure, cruising boat. Yeah, you, you don't need don't need the data every second. Right. Every two seconds, every three seconds, that elongates the battery life. And, yep. You know, suddenly we're kind of way past way past a year. Right. In that respect. So, so in terms of the user experience, someone's looking at their chart plotter and there's basically a gauge here, right, depending on which plot you have that can tell you, hey, I'm in the yellow or the green or the red zone right now. It's infinitely configurable. You set it up as per the rig and the information that comes from the, um, the manufacturer of either the rig or, or, or the, or the, the catamaran itself. Right. Um, and then it's, it's peace of mind. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if yeah. you are sailing around in the green, you're safe. Right. And you can give that information over to your friends, your family, when they're taking the boat or you're off watch, you're doing yep. a longer passage, and you know, then the, you know, the, the dial starts creeping up into the yellow, the dial right. starts creeping up into the red, you know you need to do something. Yep. You don't have to remember that at three and a half tons you need to do something. It's right. just the dial's red, yep. I need to reef. Right. And right. the reality is you know, we all want loads of sail area up because we want to get there quicker. And that's not always the case. Yeah. You know, these boats yeah. are incredibly well designed. Yep. They sail almost sail better sometimes when they're, they're reefed down. So not only is it making you safer, it's making the boat faster, but it also can prevent complete disaster. You know, if, you get, if you're truly pushing the boat too hard, there is literally the potential to, to flip the boat over if you're in heavy enough conditions. And it would yeah. prevent that. Or potentially just uh, dismasting from breaking a shroud, from, from overloading. So massive safety feature besides the, the performance gains and comfort gains that you may experience. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean that you absolutely have to reef at that point. It might really help no. some people with sail trim. You know, you're just oversheeted and you need to ease that ease the sheet, ease yeah, the jib sheet and, exactly and watch that. how those numbers you know rise and, and fall. And it might actually or very likely will teach people to sail their boat faster because we all I mean, the more experienced ones of us know that when you're over you know over canvassed you're you're pushing more water and making leeway right but people often don't it feels really fast when the boat's dragging sideways a little bit through the water yeah. and uh it, we, it, it's we, fun you know you got there and you yeah exactly it's like healing a, a monohull way way you got the rail on the water you're not necessarily going faster you're you're over canvassed so, or over sheeted <laughs> call it out tom where are we at so we are just over a thousand pounds now yeah Five. We're right into the Six full turns. right triple digit now. We're at about 800 pounds. So we've lost 50% of the load on this shroud with six turns. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Six turns, yeah. It's, um, and uh, yeah, I guess anything you want to add? Yeah, I mean, from a, from a load sensing point of view, it's, a, it's an inline load sensor, which gives you superb accuracy. On top of that, it's all based around a, an open body turnbuckle design, as we can see oh. yep. down here. And that means that it is a straight swap in and out 
for an right. existing component. There's, yeah, we just slapped this in here the, and it yeah, took less than five minutes yeah, to like install. Five minutes to install, a bit yep. of extra Tef gel to stop it from squeaking. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, and it's there so that, you know, there's no rig adjustments needed. It's straight in, straight out. It's fully wireless, no holes going into the boat. It's uh, battery powered. The batteries are going to last around about a year. So yearly rig maintenance check, swap right. the batteries out and, and just keep going. NEMA 2000 directly into the, the boat's display. Right. So whether you are B&G, whether you are Raymarine, whether you are Garmin for your displays, our equipment syncs with all of those products. And it also does data logging, correct? So you can look back and say go sailing for, you know, look at your past 24 hours or whatever that number is, quite a long period, right? And then go look and see where, where any spikes were or... Yeah, yeah. absolutely that. So the, um, the wireless, um, data as it's coming out goes into what we call our Cyclops gateway and that's a little black box which plugs into the NEMA 2000 network inside of that is the data logger right so and you don't have to do anything you turn the electric to the boat on the gateway fires up it automatically starts a new log for right. that day in that time period okay. and then when you shut it down it stores the log and you've got it then it's around about 10 years worth of capacity Okay. In the gateway. So, yes. So, more than a few days. That's more sure. than a yeah, few yeah. days. Okay. It kind of becomes your, well, it's literally a, a black box. Right. You know, if right. you want to show a, a, a prospective new owner yep. the history of your rig, you've that's got it. That's a really good point. You've got it. Excellent. You can go sailing through a storm. You know, it, it happens. Yep. You know, you try not to, but it, but it happens. And you might not at the time be able to take total. Uh, regard for all your rig tension yep. you've got other things going on sure so you get into ports you can go back into the data log see whether you actually expose the rigs to tensions and pressures that are, are excessive. Kind of excessive yeah and then make a decision you can come to you know like Stephen here at the yacht rigger and say come and check check, check, it out. check the rig out I've had yeah. a I've had some moments yeah we actually recently had a boat that came in that got grounded and got towed off by the rigging by Cito and we ended up having to take the rig down because no one knew what well, I mean obviously it's worth checking it ended up being fine but yeah, yeah. that would have been a perfect example to know hey what did these shrouds actually experience during that time when they were towing it off maybe it wasn't so bad so yeah, yeah. that's that's really good so if that sounds like some sweet boat tech that you would like to have on your sailing vessel then just hit the link in the description below and give the yacht rigger a call and they would love to talk with you and help you get set up and configured for just the right kind of implementation to have this kind of system on your boat to keep you safer and running faster out there on the waters for your adventures and as always if you're finding this content useful in any way please think about subscribing that really helps a small channel like ours and i will see see you guys on the next episode of the On Deck channel.